So again, the goal is, we're going to give you the briefs, we're going to separate you into groups, each group is going to be given a piece of paper uh, and a, a, a erasable paper, and you're going to come down with what you think, based on no more information than you've got, what you think you would need to do to that house to fix it. So these are the houses, um, we've got five houses, so we've got six net colored name tags and we've got five, five groups of houses. Gray and green. Everybody's got a gray name tag. Go back in that corner. Take your stuff. You may need your stuff. We're separating out. And since you're already sitting here, we're not gonna make you move. Everybody that's got a green name tag, come over here. You have the minimal traditional house. Okay? So what have you decided needs to be done for the minimal traditional house? Because we know a little bit about the area, we decided that we would do just a bare minimum in, in the property. Okay. Um, certainly look at kitchen, bathroom, paint, appliances, and the miscellaneous. So we had our total um, budget at about twelve five. Um, well, five. Yes. Two, 2000 for the kitchen, 1000 for bathroom, for flooring. Interior, exterior paint was three thousand, and some appliances and miscellaneous at thirty-five hundred. The goal was not to uh, necessarily keep it either rent it on section eight for seven hundred and fifty dollars a month, or um, offer twenty thousand and sell it for twenty-five thousand. So our lowball offer would be ninety-nine k, and our top would be one nineteen. I'll be that house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven hundred square feet. So, what did you have back here? Uh, we actually, for our renovations, ended up sitting about for our for one to about thirty thousand, thirty-three thousand um, on about ten different things. Um, Go ahead. Similar to them, uh, and our top, our our offer is going to be seventy-six thousand five hundred fifty. Seventy-six thousand, and you get thirty thousand, thirty-five thousand repairs going. So, uh, one hundred six, one hundred eleven thousand dollars you're going to have in it. So, what do you sell for? 144 is our guesstimate number. <laughs> One of the things we noticed in the brief was those renovations were done 11 years ago. Yes. And so we basically assumed that all the renovations were done are now 11 years old. And that price point house probably lived in fairly hard. And so we went ahead and had to go in and rip everything out, start over with real renovations, assuming we were keeping nothing that they had 11 years ago. Everybody's looking at those numbers exactly the same. The question gets to be, and this is the point on who's doing the renovations and who's doing the work. So now we come back to the man who makes the decision. And then we might be. So we have 35,000 in repairs on an 1,100 square foot house, no garage, and we got $10,000 in repairs. We got a $99,000 offer and a $76,000 offer. Who's got the better deal? Yeah. Well, you're not going to get it that cheap, number one. I mean, Right now, in most of the Knoxville market, your list of sale ratios are right at about 100%. Some places it's over 100%, multiple offer situations. And you're not, you're not going to get it that cheap. But, and you got to be careful about spending, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 on a thousand square foot home. You don't want to over improve it from the neighborhood, right? So if you can get to where they're at with a lot less pain and suffering, walk away with the same amount of profit, right? Right. And that, that just makes more sense. Uh, who has the California split for here? We do. Okay, anybody else? Okay, good. You got two buyers. Two people. Buyer number one, what did you do? Comps in the area that we kind of looked at were like around 145 range, somewhere in there. So it was uh, $60 per square foot at the at 1,500 square feet at the asking price. And uh, that's that's the background though. You want to you work mostly with numbers, though, so you want to go ahead. And... I think the bottom line is this one is kind of similar. It, it's similar to the first one. We feel it's not it's not a good investor property unless you can get it for a lot less than the asking price. And 95 grand is probably going to go pretty quick to a family who wants to move into a two bedroom, one bath for an investor property. We felt like we needed to get it for down around. 
Go ahead. You want to talk about the <laughs> There's no room. Well, we thought obviously adding a bath and then you get the basement would add some value. So if, how much does a bath add to a house? Huh? Would a bath add four thousand, five thousand dollars in value? Oh yeah, it would, but I you know might might be better on that property. Somebody I was in a group, I think it was in maybe did you guys have the same property? Yeah, yeah. 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 They would put a half bath in. I think that's a better option. I think, I think it's a better option. I think you get more property return on half bath. Well, so these split foyers are a little tough. Uh, if, you, if you do research on split floors versus ranch houses versus uh, <coughs> traditional like that, you'll see a very large difference in days on market. Uh, that split floor will be for, uh, about double, I bet, than anything else. Because people go in it and they don't realize it's a different house. Now, uh, these three bedrooms, one bath houses, I've been in a million of these things. They got three small bedrooms, right? So people are gonna walk in, you're gonna have some nice finishes, but they're gonna say, I can't fit my king size bed in here. That's right. the new thing. So I think for, for this house specifically, the best thing you can do is knock out one of those walls in that in that bedroom, make a master suite, make a big closet. Yeah. Okay, you, if you've got enough money and it's in the right area, add a bath up there too. What if y'all decide that, you, since we've been talking about it, I, what did y'all do? Uh, Wait, so what, what was y'all's offer for the house? Our offer to do this was sixty-seven five. As an okay. Uh, we figured fifteen hundred square feet South Knoxville round terms. Figured it might have a retail value of one hundred and fifty. Uh, we thought we'd end up real estate transaction cost. Maybe we'd net one forty. We worked pretty hard on the detail. We added decided to add a half bath in the basement. We we picked five thousand. Remodeled the main, new appliances. Flooring, cabinets, countersink, we put in windows, paint, electrical fixtures, figured our financing, holding costs, and a little bit of contingency. So we worked ourselves up to about 30,000 of rehab costs. So when we drop, take that off, if we bought it for 90, you know, we'd love to get it for less, but in this area, 95 will probably be pretty marketable. If we got it for 90, then we'd be able to make 20,000 on the deal. But the more we share the information, the better we get as investors. And that's the purpose of the exercise.